So Gaia used to be just one big ocean. How do you know? I don't know. For some reason, it's in my memory. I wasn't even born at the time. It doesn't make any sense. And I was born on Terra, not Gaia, so how can it be in my memory? It's in my memory, too. Gaia used to be covered with water. I'm getting a similar feeling as well. Maybe that means all existence can be traced back to a single source. I don't understand. Oh, boss. I have to have two pumice pieces to trade to Hades for something, but I only have one. That. I am the Water Chaos Kraken! Your presence is forbidden! Boo! <laughs> it's like the goofiest enemy. What in the world? Yeah, the Final Fantasy 1 shout out is so cool. It, yet again, you know, we've talked about it many times. There's so much in this game that calls back to the retro Final Fantasies. I think that was, this is like their swan song to the originals. There's so many little references. So I saw he had tentacles are targets. wonder if we can kill them without killing him or if they come back or whatever. Gives me something to do while we're stealing. Glutton's robe. Wizard rod, I want. Genji helmet. Yeah, I want all three. Wow. I think, uh... I think putting on the body temp would be good. Every single boss I've fought in this dungeon casts freeze and overheat or whatever the heck it's called. Nice. That uh that freeze lasted so little time that I couldn't even cast fire. Exciting. Two for two. <laughs> I see you're playing Crisis Core Data Spot. That's, that's exactly how that game goes. <laughs> that, was a, that was an accurate representation of trying to play Crisis Core. Modulating phase, modulating phase, modulating phase, modulating phase, modulating phase. Power surge. I'm trying, I'm trying! So I don't know what these tentacles do, because he's just casting freeze over and over. But, you know. Here's where he starts using like his ultimate attack because I destroyed his tentacles. The the carry armor. Carry armor. 
goon. Where you take out the arms and then he spams his strongest attack. <laughs> oh, he's he's not using freeze at the moment, that's good. He's just smacking us. Although I guess Freeze didn't deal damage, so Freeze was actually kind of better. Uh-oh. I think... I think I was actually right. I think he's more dangerous now that I took out his tentacles. Nice! We got it! That was, that was pretty painless. Now prepare to die. Ow. Zidane finally coming through with the steals on probably the least dangerous boss yet. The one that was like the easiest to stay alive for, he gets the steals right away. But freaking Tiamat, stealing our power and getting stronger as the fight progresses, can't get the steal. And the dragon that constantly hit us all for massive damage couldn't get the steal. But that was my fault, I didn't have the abilities. I'll blame myself on that one. Welcome back, RJ. Like, is it okay if I call you RJ, by the way? I was thinking about it the other day. Usually if someone has a name like something and then something else, it's okay to call them the first thing. But RJP is like, like leaving out the P might be disingenuous because <laughs> it's part of the name. But RJ is easier to say than RJP, so I keep saying RJ, and I'm like, wait, you might not like that. Nice dodge, right when you needed it. Yo, subs! How's it going? <laughs> Start calling you 9R. Nothing else. Start calling you Nine. Niner. Nice Niner. Mr. Niner. Niner 49er. Miner 49er. That Scooby Doo villain. Perfect. Hey, Zidane, can you stop dying? Uh oh. He took that defensively, I guess. You wanted your name to just be Nine? I'll start calling you Nine. Like the movie. You better not. Unbelievable. You're getting grandpa Doing great subs. It's good to hear you're doing good too, man. I almost feel like it's not worth it using Osmos because I have a million ethers, but. You know, I gotta save all those ethers so that when the game's over, I have like 99 and never use them. Oh. See ya. 
I am very excited to see what this wizard rod does. Wizard staff. Wizard staff? Yeah. What? Was it a rod? Unbelievable. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Probably the most, the ability I've wanted the most. Can't argue with that. What else did he have? He had a glutton's robe, which certainly is for boy Quinna. What was the other thing? Genji home. I'd rather have the speed, I think. And the magic defense. Alright, I'm gonna go back and save, actually, because the save point's not that far away. Kind of curious if we're going to finish today. We have like 50 minutes left. I definitely don't want to rush the finish, so... If we're not very close to the end... Soon... I will uh, probably wait for next week. That way we can experience it without having to rush it. So definitely don't want to do that. Uh, and we can certainly do other things. We can go play more cards. There's one more elemental boss. I know that, and then who knows what comes after that. This is usually where I would do a double day to finish, but we're gonna be playing 1.0 Final Fantasy VII later, so. Which I'm totally fine with. Totally fine waiting. We definitely had a lot of excitement today. And we got the beat Hades. If we hadn't done Hades, uh, we probably would have been able to finish, but I beat him on my first try. That'd be cool, too, because if we finish right away next week, then we'll have, like, all day for side quest stuff. If I find another card game, dude, maybe I'll do that for a bit. Because... The last thing I want to do is start the ending. And then... You know, we get caught up in it. Forever. So... We'll see, though. See what's coming up. I could walk into the next room and it could be like... Elemental boss, final boss. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long this... Is. It already seems very long. doing a double day, like I said. More. Who broke my clock? I bet you there's some over here. I bet you there's a card game dude over here. It still blows my mind that every single one of these screens has its own battle arena.
Yeah, I actually poison them. Hey, actually poison me. Kiraga though. Only casts 11 because of MP half. That's a big upgrade. Big upgrade. Yeah, let's stop. Let's stop asking me what I've done and what I haven't done and what I'm going to do. We're gonna do everything. Oh, it's a save point. You don't need to ask constantly what I'm doing, if I'm fighting this, if I'm fighting that, if I'm collecting this. I'm doing everything that interests me, which is probably gonna be everything. And the more you ask, the more it spoils, because then I know it's something. I'll probably go the extra mile as well and like Google some stuff when I'm completely done with everything to see if there's anything I missed. Ha! This is right next to a save point too. I am the ghost of Cardmaster Empress. This is this is gonna be big. Give me all your Charizards. Genji card now, but it's not really that great. Mm. I need a... I need a strong physical? Yeah, I got it for a bit. I need a strong physical, but this has like no arrows. I need a strong physical with a right arrow. I only have one right arrow. We'll do this. I did not want to go first. There's a mod card. Let's go. Oh, what is that? What is that? Okay. Okay, this is a bit of a yikes. This is the correct play, but does it win? M versus P, it has an advantage, but it's also really weak. I gotta go for it, though. Let's go. Oh, little tiny chocobo. Uh, I gotta take this. It's the better card. Elixir. I'm coming for that Mog card, though. I go theater ship this time. Call to come back. Wow, a completely f empty board. Do I go with the Chad play and put this right in the middle? <laughs> what is that? Wow, you're getting schooled. What do I do now, though? You can just take one of these and pretty much take the whole freaking board. Yep. 
Yep, that's I saw that coming. Oh, I got a challenge. I got a challenge that I mean this should 100% win. There's no way it doesn't win. That's unbelievable. X is good against M and the stats are better. How does it lose? That's it, that's unreal that I lose that. That's unreal. This game sucks. Game sucks. All the numbers were better. At least from what I understand. Yes, I'm aware I don't understand the rules. But from what I've seen, X usually beats M unless it's like really far behind in the stats. But see, I could be totally wrong, that's just from my conjecture. Regardless, all the numbers on that card were better. So that was kind of... definitely seemed like I should have won. go super chat and try to win Odin. I think if I'm not mistaken I can lose this and still win. No, we'd tie. We'd tie if I lost. That's a Hades. That Hades looks insane. BM M90. It seems like ridiculous. The arrows suck though. But I mean, Hades card. Yeah, like I said before, I'm going off my just conjecture from what I've played. I legit have no idea how the card game works. I only have clues from the battles I've seen. Which is good. That's the authentic way to play it. Being a casual playthrough. Once we're done with everything, I'll figure out how the card game actually works. And Yeah, it looked like Terra Gaia. I don't know if that's what it is, but... Yes, I understand the game explains how it works, but I missed that tutorial. Somehow, someway. I did the tutorial at the card game tournament. But the guy said, like, you'll figure this stuff out later. That never told me. Should I try my Hades card? Sure, why not? Challenge me if you dare, anyone. <laughs> Saw it coming. See, like, there, that seems insane to me that that won. Because B certainly should be better than 6, and then 90 should be better than 52. And they're both M's. I 
I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it's not that complicated. But again, I cannot know unless it tells me and it has not told me. So I'm just going off what I've seen. theater ship or my cargo ship I got more it's not a big deal well Hades is kind of a bust he lost to the first card he played against cool that I got a Hades card though ribbon playing guy. Why do you get to play a ribbon? Uh, Alright, this should beat the theater ship, I would hope. Dang. Again, that seems ridiculous that I lost that. Just do the opposite, yeah. At this point, it might be good. Might be a good plan. Yeah, I think I'm definitely wrong about the letters. I think what happened was like back when I had weaker cards, it seemed like M beat P and P beat X and X beat M. But all the cards were like around the same power. So it was probably just luck of the draw that that happened and then I came up with that conclusion and it's just not the right conclusion so I should probably just throw that out the window and just start trying to figure it out again as if I know nothing I think I think that thought process is just wrong <laughs> the secret is to know nothing yeah well we're there we're, we're here Ooh, I want that card real bad. No, we're not doing a double day. We're doing Final Fantasy VII later. No! We gotta win. We gotta win this. How do we win this? Flare. We gotta win. Yes! You better believe. No. Yes. yes. What do I? T oh my god. Oh. Oh, both of these are so good. I think I gotta take this. Retro airship. Let's go. Another callback. I mean, that's how I feel, but it doesn't stop people from getting angry that I'm enjoying the game without knowing the rules. <laughs> like, I just wish people would understand that me not understanding the rules is making this fun. But they just want me to understand the rules and win every single game. I, I think that a lot of people, not a lot of people, some people want Fantathon to be like, the ultimate quest through all the games where I never lose a single fight and I 100% every single game and I Google every single mechanic of every single fight so I know everything going in and it's like the god run. It's not what it is. 
it's experiencing the games as if we were kids again and experiencing them on original hardware experiencing them in a casual way so all the mistakes and all the goony things still happen and we get screwed by rng and screwed by craig and it's fun and entertaining You're not it's not supposed to be the ultimate final fantasy guide where i beat every game to a pulp if you want to do that be my guest that's not what this is I want to experience the games as if I were playing them for the first time again as a kid and get brutally massacred by all the goony things the games have to offer. Enjoy them the way they're supposed to be enjoyed. Speaking of goony things, we really lost this. Is that a frog? Oh my god, I want that frog cart. It sucks, but I want it. <laughs> Why is he using it? It's like terrible. We gotta get the frog cart. No. Oh. He's just bragging now, using the poopy frog card and still beating me. Actually, I think it's a girl. I said it was an empress. Also, that's a behemoth. We gotta fight this. started playing the new Pokemon game? I didn't even know you liked Pokemon. It doesn't have Metal Gear or Solid in the name. Who doesn't like Pokemon? Fair point. That's fair, that's fair. I've just never seen you play any Pokemon games or talk about Pokemon ever, so... Hope you're enjoying it. I heard multiple things about it, but in general, people seem to be liking it. That's true. If there were ever a Pokemon game that you would like, it'd be the new one, because there's stealth mechanics. That seems so weird to me that there's stealth mechanics in a Pokemon game. Those two things just don't seem to go together very well. Also... Ow. Is that his dying move, or just a- oh, it's just a counter. See, that's the thing though, like... So... I was like big into Pokemon when I was a kid because I was born in the 90s. It was literally a like inevitability that you would be into Pokemon. Uh, but I was only into it for the first two generations and then I quote unquote grew up <laughs> and Pokemon was lame. So I started getting into like Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic and other things. So I only played up to Gen 2 and then didn't get back into it no, I'm still not really back into it. But I didn't even I didn't get back into like kind of following it from a distance until probably like 2012, 13, 14. So I missed out on pretty much everything after Gen 2. And then in like 2018 Or maybe it was 2009, it was like three years ago, 2019. Uh, somebody donated Pokemon Emerald to the stream for a fan day. So I played Pokemon Emerald for a bit. And the feeling of playing a Pokemon game and not knowing the Pokemon is amazing. It was like I was playing Red for the first time again as a kid. 
and I, I could like run into anything and I had no idea what they were and I had no idea what things evolved into. So like I would catch a Pokemon and then really want to evolve it to see what it turned into. Whereas like now, you know, if I play Silver again, I know every Pokemon, I know every Pokemon's evolution. So it's not as like exciting, but like playing Emerald was so exciting because I'd catch some goofy bird and be like, what does this evolve into? And I sit there and grind so I could see what it evolved into. And it was like, it was exciting, you know? So, if I play the new Pokemon game, I might have the same experience where I really don't know, like, what I could possibly run into. But then I also get nostalgia when I walk into something like Snorlax or something, and I'm like, dude, sweet, it's a Snorlax. So it could be a cool combination of, like, new Pokemon, and then also seeing all the old Pokemon. So I don't know, I'm kind of like, oh my god, that Hades is an F. See, why didn't my, why didn't my Hades perform like this. I gotta lose. Okay, good. Oh my god, frog card. Here's the problem, though. Uh, he's probably gonna recapture it. I'm gonna go here and hope he goes right below me. No! My frog! Yeah, I got the sick Hades card, though. I need that frog card. Game, the playthrough is not complete till I get the frog card. Okay, Odin. Odin is a thing I wouldn't mind getting. I really want to cover that corner, but I don't know... I don't know what I can play that'll win. For sure. I think Flare will win. Let's do it. That's bad. That's bad. I can't get those back. Okay. No! <laughs> My frog! Okay, well, if I play here, I tie, I tie, so... If I play here, I tie. If I play here, there's a chance he fights my Hades and loses and I win. Uh, but then you could also play here. Mm. I'll take the tie. Uh, my ribbon is not that strong. He probably could have beat it. That's a pretty good Alexandria. It's a pretty good play, too. I wonder if my ribbon would win. They're both zeros. I'm throwing out my hypothesis that M beats P, but my second numbers are also better. Okay, I get wasted. I <laughs> Dude, zero clue. Alright, this will win. All, the only, the only like hypothesis I have, which it was kind of just nullified because it just lost, but Flare wins against almost everything. Like, Flare is Master Tier card. Which is weird because it has a 0-0, zero, zero, but for some reason that C is just like God Tier. Destroys everything. You gotta be kidding me! How does Hades lose against a ribbon? The ribbon sucks! It loses against everything! And this Hades card seemed amazing, and it just lost!
Yeah. If you know the rules, you'd win every game, Kappa. <laughs> I, I very much disagree. Take the Hades. No, not my flare. Yeah, no. I mean, if you're if you're sitting there saying just know the rules and it's easy. I I give you exhibit A. <laughs> Hades losing to a freaking piece of ribbon. It certainly would be a lot easier though if I knew the rules. are. There are no rules. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty over the card game at this point, because if these are the final card duels, then there's no reason to even collect more cards, but I want to get that frog card. Why can we not run away? Frog card. I feel like it's a must. Yo, thank you for the 655 live stream. <laughs> Seven zero seven zero seven. See what you did there. I like it. I like it. You don't understand the Ico hate. Well, I mean, she's pretty. She's pretty dislikable at the start of the game, but at the same time, she's a kid. So some people give her a pass because she's a kid, and then other people are just like, I hate kids, so they don't give her a pass. So I suppose that's kind of the, the main thing. Ooh. I like the look of that. Yes, frog, yes. All right, play it cool. Don't take it yet, play it cool. <laughs> he had one health. Oh my God, another frog. All right, what do we, what's the play here? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Not just one, but two frog cards and a full two moon card. And a tiger racket, whatever like that is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That is, that is a, su a successful card game right there. Alright. We got like 15 minutes left. Let's see what's up ahead. Maybe we can get the final elemental boss to finish off. Now we just leave and let Kuja destroy the planet. If we got our frog card, we're out. Mission accomplished. Mission has been accomplished. We do not need to go any further. I love that door that looked like it led to nothing. It's cool. Jeez, that's one big fireball. Could it be a moon? This is the birth of Gaia. That's Gaia? 
over 5,000 years ago. What's above that ladder? See for yourself. Terra reached the peak of its prosperity at this time. What, being a giant fireball? The people believed that their future was secure. Ultimately, ultimately, they ver they're very, that very hub hubris, I cannot read. <laughs> ultimately, that very hubris led to Terra's demise. Thus, I was created to deal with our plights. Secrets? 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 Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. screen is like two steps long and it has its own battle thing. Well, you made a horrible mistake. <laughs> That's what you get, hero. Big karma. You could say karma is a lich. That's the next boss we're fighting. Oh, come on. That, that's a better joke than your jokes. Whatever, no, you just keep making your dumb jokes, and then when I make a dumb joke, boo me. Why are you booing? I'm right! Tell you felt proud of that one. All right, let's not go that far. I've, I've had better. Okay. Aha! Oh my God! Another card game? No way! I am the ghost of the card master who controls the dark. Okay, let's not get, it's a card game, guy. Let's not get too excited. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Jeez. Fighting Maximilian Pegasus here, let's go. Oh my god, this airship card, I forgot. That thing is big win. Do I go frog? I should have gone frog. I see the ghost of Christmas past. Oh my god, what is that? Is that like Ultima or something? Okay, this guy is... This guy is playing with some big cards here. He's not messing around. He plays with... Plays with nothing but orbs. He is the orb master. God, I can't beat any of these cards either. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't know why that won, but it did. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I win any of these fights. risky business here. I'm going to place this here to cover up this empty spot. Let's see what happens. Yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, wait. Guys. 
if I play this up top and I beat Flare, I get all of his cards. Or I place it bottom right and tie. <laughs> we gotta go for it. We have to. Full send. Come on, baby. Yes! Let's go! Frickin' Dark Master, my butt. Take all your cards. <laughs> what if, like, what if Hip Hall appeared and he was like, You beat me again? I spent my whole life becoming the ultimate card master and you just beat me again? No freaking way. Those are for all my YouTube homies that said I suck at the card game. I still suck at the card game, but... <laughs> That's for you. Where are they at? Dark Matter. Where's the Ozma card? There it is, Ozma. Let's freaking go, dude. Ozma card. It was me, Dio. I think that's what the, the Dark Lord... I think that was his face when I beat him. This is the end of your card journey, and then I just perfect him. He does that. <laughs> that squirrel. <laughs> We're gonna love that emote. What? <laughs> what happened to my cards? Should I play him again, or does he only... I wonder if he has any other cards, because he only played Dark Matter and Ozma. Kind of curious just to see if he has other cards. He played four Dark Matters. It might just be Dark Matters. He might only play orbs, and those might be the only two orbs. Yeah, it's a hype emote. It's all dark matter. I can't believe that worked, dude. That was amazing. Covering up that empty spot was like such a genius play. Because he definitely would have played there. Forced him right into my hands. And then got lucky. Use trash cards? That's a good idea. I'll do that one time. I kind of need to get rid of some cards anyways. I have 100. What if I win? Oh my god, these cards have like no arrows. I'm not winning. <laughs> There's no way I win this. I can't even take anything. I mean, unless he, like, plays himself and, like, tries to win against one of his own cards and loses or something. It's the only way I win this. I gotta... I gotta take something, but I can't take anything. Win! Now. Yeah, he just has dark matter. Uh, not my mimic. So yeah, I already got his whole collection. Get wrecked. Seemed like that Ozma card was kind of rare too, and I got it first try. What do we got going in here? We're only we're walking.
walking in here. What the? It's a big lich time. Yep. He's back. I am Earth Chaos Lich. What? What did he say? He said I commend you or something. It'd be funny if you had the same stuff. Commend your feet. I do have pretty cool feet. Black robe. Siren's flute. Genji gloves. Well, I guess I want the gloves, so... Yeah, Black Row we already have. Hey, it's good to have you here, Philly. Appreciate it, man. Oh my god, Kiraga is incredible. Dagger just spams Kiraga, we never lose. Uh-oh. I really like the animation for this. gloves for a steal. What was the other thing? Because I don't care about the robe. Hey. The flute. Yeah, I should probably get that. That looks like it's going to hurt. We're here to steal your musical instruments. I don't know what it is, but there's something about Freya's like ready to attack pose. Like the animation she does. It's like the coolest thing to me. she like flips her spear rear here to steal chaos I think Freya is gonna do mega damage with the holy spear in this fight no steal the other thing Slips in. I hope we get the steal soon, because this is going to be an annoying fight to stay alive in. Stupid doom and death and dumb. I really like how they did life in this game. Instead of doing a life that's basically a phoenix down, and then like a full life, they just have life heal more depending on how strong you are. Uh, actually, I think he has auto life. 
Um, I really like that a lot better. Because, like, what's the point of even having life when you can just buy a bunch of Phoenix Downs? Instead, life actually has a purpose here. What is the point of life? Who knows? That's what I'm saying. Don't kill Freya, she's already dead! Something about 42. Alright, Zidane. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really need to go to the bathroom. So... I need to get this steel. For no other reason other than I have to go to the bathroom. Please and thank you. Going jolly? Uh, no, but thank you for asking. When we're done with the run, I'll probably open things up like I always do for people to give tips and stuff that they wanted to say during the playthrough. But not during. We always have kind of a part at the end where we let everyone say all the stuff they wanted to say during the playthrough. Just go ahead and jump. Hey, perfect timing, Siding. <laughs> it's still the Christmas version of that. I have to swap it back. He looks, he looks nice with the little Christmas hat, though. Perfectionist. Quite the opposite, don't you think? Wow! Look at all that damage! I'm sitting here thinking you're gonna do big damage because of the holy thing. The holy spirit. She's doing less damage. Oh, and that, that was a little better. You just wanted to make my poison heal miss. There we go. Now we're talking. How's it going, Blue Phoenix? It would be really cool if they actually connected Sid with Dragoon mechanics a bit more. Because in the original, he's really just guy with spear. <laughs> like his limits kinda do a bit of dragooniness, but like not enough to really. Oh, that happened. Not enough to like really matter. Like, like yes, he ha he has some limits that have like Dragoon qualities, but at the end of the day, he's just dealing damage. There's the one that does MP damage, so that's very Dragoon-like, but that's really it. So, yeah, it'd be cool if, if in the remake there's a bit more 
they lean a bit towards that. Probably the most Dragoon thing that Sid does in the original game is uh, when he jumps up to the tiny Bronco in the cutscene and he jumps like 10 feet in the air. <laughs> That's probably the closest he gets. Dagger's dead. Also, how's it going, Marsh? I don't think I said hi to you yet. How you doing, man? Yeah, he has like a jump limit, and then he has that dragon limit. But... And, you know, like I said, they just deal damage. It's not... It's not like you use it, and then he jumps up in the air and like dodges stuff or anything like that. Like, it's just damage, so... It's not that exciting. Also, this guy's kind of being a jerk, not gonna lie. I mean, even Yuffie kind of has something like that. She has a counter move where she dodges and then attacks. You can do the same thing with jump or, you know, some kind of similar mechanic. Oh, that didn't work. Yo, welcome back, Mavic. Uh, I had, like... Probably the worst card games ever, followed by the greatest card game ever. That's pretty much all you missed. <laughs> I got like totally, totally blasted by one of the card guys, and then I fought a card guy that was supposed to be harder, and I took all his cards. So yeah, the normal. The normal get cheesed and then cheese. It always seems to happen in my playthroughs. Nothing will ever beat that time Peter Pan got completely smashed in that board game, though. <laughs> I'll never forget that. That was so great. And I got two frog cards. We stop doing stop. It's awful. I think I need to kill Freya. And I'm gonna kind of have a problem here. Man, Zidane's dead for another XP game. Or no, wait, never mind. It's the boss XP. Also, I got Reflect Null. That's cool. Good thing I can still leave. Alright, that'll be it. We're, we're set up perfectly for next week. 
Also, I gotta see what I... What stuff I stole. Genji gloves. Those aren't that great. That of eight is pretty cool, but really worth it. Uh, that was it. The other stuff was for other people. from Hades. Man, that's gotta be an annoying sleep with that clock just flipping out all night. <laughs> Don't think I could sleep. Alright, well, what a successful day. We got all the cards, we bought, beat all the Elemental bosses, or whatever you want to call them. And now we're set up for the, the end of the game next week. And this was an absolute blast. I, this dungeon is really cool. Like, visually, the music's great, the bosses are great, all the card games. This is, like, already one of my favorite final dungeons of the series. Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank you all so much. Oh, and we beat Hades first try. That was dope. <laughs> I'm not going to be forgetting that. That was cool. Uh, thank you all for watching. We're going to be jumping into Final Fantasy VII 1.0, but before then, we need to say goodbye to YouTube. So, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it so much. Next week, probably be the finale, and then we get to get into post game, and I am excited to get into nine post game. It's the one post game I've been looking forward to the most throughout the whole series. So, I am excited. Hope you are too, and hope you enjoyed these episodes. We'll see you next time for more amazing Final Fantasy. We'll see you there. Peace.